Today's episode is on the De Natali Ipsius, the fourth sermon by Leo the Great. This one was sent in by a fellow named Jake in South Africa who already got his credit and he's getting no more. Here we have a painting of Leo the Great on his horse meeting Attila the Hun. This painting is by Raphael from 1514. Leo was born in around 400 and died in 461. This excerpt was composed on September 29, 440, when Leo became the Pontifex Maximus Romanus. It's found in the Patrologia Latina, volume 54, section 149a. Omnes enum in Christo regeneratos, crucis signum efficit reges, sancti vero spiritus, unctio consecra sacerdotes, ut praeter istam specialem nostri ministeri servitutem, Unuversi spirituales et rationabiles Christiani, agnoscant se regii generis, et sacerdotalis officii esse consortes. In order to get more context for this enim, which means for, and gives a reason for what proceeds, you'll have to go look in the PL 54. This was the excerpt that was sent, in which the reader was especially interested. So let's look at it. For all of those who have been regenerated or reborn in Christ, crucis signum, the sign of the cross. Signum here is our subject. It's in the neuter, singular, and nominative. And crucis, of course, is in the feminine, singular, and genitive. The sign of the cross, efficit, renders or makes. This is from the verb efficio, which is, of course, ex, and facio, facio to make, and ex here emphatic. So the sign of the cross renders all those who have been reborn in Christ, renders them reges. You see, this is once again a factative verb. It takes an object and an object complement to render omnes, render them reges. takes two accusatives. He continues, The unctio sancti spiritus, the anointing of the Holy Spirit, indeed, makes them consecrates them as priests. Consecro means to make holy, to set apart. So we can see the parallelism of this sentence very nicely. Omnes regeneratus in Christi, unctio sancti spiritus consecrat sacerdotes. So reges corresponds to sacerdotes. The signum crucis corresponds to the unctio sancti spiritus. And this leads to a result clause ut. Leo says, the result is that Beyond, praetere, here's the preposition with the accusative, beyond istam specialem servitutem nostri ministerii, beyond that particular service of our office, our ministerial office, nostri ministerii, servitutem feminine, singular, and accusative, as are, of course, specialem and istam, as they modify, servitutem, and nostri ministerii in the neuter, singular, and genitive. Even beyond that, now we get the subject, Unuversi spirituales et rationabiles Christiani. All spiritual and right-thinking, able to reason Christians, recognize themselves. Now this, of course, is subjunctive with the ut clause of result. Recognize that, se esse, a ratio obliqua indirect statement. Recognize that they are consortes, sharers in a royal generation, and of a sacerdotalis officii, and of a priestly office or obligation. This is a reference to 1 Peter 2.9.